On trips to Tohoku, it was a one-week program to Japan for University of Maryland undergraduate students, and the theme of the program was to understand about the disaster recovery in the Tohoku region of Japan after the March 2011 earthquake, tsunami, and Fukushima nuclear disaster. We went to Rikuzen Takata and Kesen Numa, which are two of the coastal villages that were the most heavily affected by the tsunami especially. I think what sticks with me the most is when we were in Rikas and Takata visiting a seed shop owner, he uh, was telling us how his entire seed shop was built from the debris of houses, pipelines, etc. and how each piece that he had to build up or he took to build a seed shop again, he, he prayed on it because he believed that the person who possibly had this like lost their lives during the disaster. So it's his way of sort of thanking them for helping him get his life back together. We sow the seeds of hope. And then we got to participate in a beach cleanup activity, which, um, you know, for the first time we really could feel with our hands, you know, in our bodies that we were doing something. It was really moving because we saw some scarves, some toothpaste, so it's, it's remains of people's lives. The thing that matters most in life is not the physical material possession, but in fact it's the ties and the love between people, between neighbors and family. It helps the community because we learned many lessons there, lessons of resilience and determination that we'll bring back here and we'll tell our, com our own communities about it. The very little things in life that you take for granted can be washed away in a very small instance. And seeing that made me realize that that's the most important part of anything we do. It's not about the policy. It's not about looking towards the future. It's all about the people and making their lives better and helping them realize that there is life beyond disaster.